See you when I see ya. Thanks. Nice. Alright, the theatre. Which is totally not gonna be horrific. Because that guy is probably gonna be still there, or whatever he did there is probably gonna be whatever is left and what happened. Oh, my mic is covered in hair. Uh, the, 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 dis, the disadvantages of owning a golden retriever. Oh, why is it getting darker? No, I don't like this. No, I don't like this. You're really good back there, Simon. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the dud back, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. Uh. We don't have to worry, though, because with the Dunbat, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. I don't hold for anything. Well, we're at the Atlantic, so we're far away. We can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Shut up. Oh, sorry. I, I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like mm. Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ. I have no I mouth and I'm a scream. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> uh. Okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. Hmm. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. Like so the other robots. I found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't worry about mm. it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll adjust the Omni tool. As always, yeah, don't to take me with you. Yeah, you already know that yeah, people can go and save. You know, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really mm. complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside Theta, okay? See you soon. <sighs> Here we go again. Jeez, avoiding questions. Asking the... Jeez, they're missing out on the most important question. Like... To being human. Or anything like that. Oh. <laughs> Sneezing is not one of the important questions. The important question of, like, what makes us human? Because what sort of defines what is and what isn't human? Because like nowadays, we have got AI or or learning algorithms that have managed to create imagery, art, replicate voices, and now create video, which is incredible. But you still kind of say that that's AI. In this case, we've managed to fully scan a full brain and put it into like a, a hardware which works with that software and a quote which is someone else's mind so it kind of begs the question of like where does the line of humanity and not humanity blur because it, like if you really imagine it if you take this hypothetical of if you were to take your brain and put it into someone else's body or more specifically yeah, yeah if you were to put your brain in that body of someone else's would that technically still be you Yes, that brain would still have your thoughts and your sort of consciousness, but the body itself is completely biologically different and is sort of... It's sort of... It's, it's very complicated to sort of go that where does the line go between what is you and what is not you? That's where sort of clones come into play, because there's the whole concept of a clone where, oh yeah, it has all your memories, but all it has in relation to its memories, all the memories it has, is the memories of you getting its memories. It's a very interesting subject of, like, humanity. And then also, as well, like, 
do I feel, or like, does Simon feel love? Does he feel anything like that? Does he have a sense of humor? It, now that he's a robot. There's so many different questions of, oh yeah, does he do this now because he has the brain of a human, but does the body of the robot really compensate? I feel like Catherine, in a way, is using us. I believe that she already knows the answer of why these, uh, like, as in somebody going insane. If someone were to go insane, uh, like, if somebody would go insane if they realized that everything that they knew was a lie. Also, that's a floating thing over there. Like, if you woke up today and you find out that everything that you know was all planned and was a lie, as in say that, oh yeah, um, so, like, I w like everything. My body was artificially created, like in Blade Runner, completely cloned, and then I was programmed with memories. And these memories were—they ne never happened. It would definitely put a bit of a shine on your life entirely, and your brain would just go, "What's the actual point if this didn't happen? And if I—if those memories never really happened, am I even real?" And then eventually, you will just uh, just go insane. But then as well. Yeah, people nowadays who think, oh yeah, most of reality isn't real, as in people who, not not in that, that literal sense, but like, there are people in life who disassociate a lot, and I, like, I find I disassociate a lot, which is a problem that I have to deal with quite a bit, because whenever I disassociate, I don't, I'm not a lot, like, I sort of don't, like, I don't connect, and whenever you don't connect, you sort of lose touch with people, and then eventually you wonder why. You've got no one around you. Is there something in the human body that is able to cope with realizing its own existence and not going insane? And this weird form, oh, like Simon mentioned something about ignorance or like blindness, in, like sort of your body compensates, it's okay with it, or being ignorant to not knowing what the hell is going on, which is weird. Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters, we're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? Is that a rough day? <laughs> He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. Structured in the number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Kumaravi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. Hmm. Alright, see you soon. Cool. I like talking about this stuff. Like, I don't get to talk very deeply about things very often, but like whenever I get the chance of things. Whoa! Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Oh. Am I already here? You okay? Hello? Who is that? Mark? No, it's no, Simon. We haven't met before. Is this Mark? I no. think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Data field service technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. Oh, buddy. I'll talk to you even more. How did you get here? I got scanned. Like the others. And then I killed myself. At oh. least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Oh. Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think mm. she's okay with it. Where is everyone? Mm. I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. 
Yeah. Robin. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... The not the Ark. Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine oh. and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. Yeah. Here. You'll be on the Ark soon. Okay? You'll be on the Ark. Let me go! It was a mercy. Yeah. So, okay. That is a really interesting point. So, the Ark can't directly transfer my brain or someone else's brain into the thing, into the Ark. It's more it just has a copy of it. So anything, so the human you never really makes it. It's just I, the imaginary body of you does. That just means you're not r real. Catherine, that is, that, that is fucked up. What, what, like, why would anyone want that? You wouldn't be there. It's, it's just like, it's like real death. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be there. I don't know, that's, that's just really weird. It's just, just, it just wouldn't make sense. Like, why would you, you want to try to save your consciousness that you would never experience? And even so, if someone were to find the Ark, what would they do with it? You can either kill everyone on it, or you take the copy and put it into more robots and then you have this scenario all over again. It's almost like, no point. Why? Is she saying this is saving humanity? I don't think so. I don't think that's how that works. At least in my opinion. <gasps> nice. Okay. Back inside. Okay, we've got more of this red stuff. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? We found Theta. Ah. Right, okay, we need to find another tool chip. Cool. There we go. Normal Saturday morning, right? Ah, tool station. Nice. We're here? We're here! Yes. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have hmm. a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this ah. is one of the kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? Dropped it. That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Hmm. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, Better? clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend, it's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe, fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Thousands. Just thinking Not forever. about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... Sad. It's Heroic. Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here well, we go. The Dunbat. Um, uh, I knew it was too good to be true. What's well, wrong? It's, it's gone. It, it's quarantined. Hold on. Hmm. We need a security cipher. How Shit. bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still mm -hmm. around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock sure. the other doors for you, so you can explore the station. Thank you, Catherine. Hmm. Whoa! That's a steampunk-looking-ass computer. Ooh. Stress Paul. 
Squeeze me was squeeze me stressful. Should take that fit it uh, Cause a few people that are alive. Or in different different places. Ah Pathos two Okay, so we're there. That's cool. That's good to know. Oh yeah, the other doors are up. Oh, doy, I'm such an idiot. Right, uh, that looks scary, so no. Oh, and this is, this is even scarier. Fantastic. Thanks, Mario. That's real helpful report. Be quiet, the proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. Kinda sounds like a warning. Proxy listens, eh? Oh shit. Right. Okay, so we gotta be real quiet. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, the proxy listens. Okay, is that the name of these things? Oh, uh, so is this a new creature? Okay. Okay, so I could possibly throw objects. To make noise. Okay. Cool. What a nice server room! Mmm, it's a, such very, very nice server room. Oh, Jesus, right. Are you okay, man? Oh, this looks worse than structure gel. Can I, hold on, can I hit you with a, with a, can, can I hit you with something? Sorry, but hold on. Okay, you look like you, you just get meshed with metal, instead of the other type. Okay, the proxy hears. Okay. The hell is the proxy? Okay. Okay, presuming because it says it hears, it's. Is it blind? Please tell me it's blind. <clears throat> Proxy listens. Okay. Okay. Damn it, all these objects. Okay, I presume it's here. Did it hear that? Yes, it did. What the fuck is that? What is that?
Why am I in a maze? This is not amazing. Shit. 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 Network error. Please press... Rider? Damn it, Wi-Fi. Why are you fucking me? that. Okay, router. What do you mean, router? Where is this router? Router? The router's disconnected. Why? How? And, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay, I'm back at my start. Right, I'm back at the start. Okay. What did I just see? Okay, right, okay. I'm gonna end this episode of Soma here. Holy crap. Okay, a lot of philosophical questions to be asked. And also, some new enemies have been introduced. I, this is fantastic. And my brain is going to be a big pile of shit because of this. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this lovely little video of mine. Please consider liking and subscribing and doing all the lovely cool stuff YouTubers like to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Uh, what the? Uh, somebody find the outro? Where's the outro? Ah, here it is.